Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at adding some PNG graphics to our actual job and also some basic settings and an overview of the channels feature. And this will all be done within FlexiPrint. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back to the program here. So now, like I mentioned, today's video, we're going to be adding some graphics. This is where it gets fun. And um, we're going to be looking at some basic settings and the channel preview, because the channel preview is going to be important later when we get to making custom white and full, I mean, white and varnish channels. But then first of all, to get graphics in here, it doesn't get more simple than this. You simply locate your graphics. In our case, we're using a PNG with a transparent background. I'm going to drag and drop this straight into the program. And there we go. We've got our graphics. Now, there is other ways you can do it. You can always go to this job folder and then go locate it and just simply click add and we'll do the same thing. You can also go file and add job. So there's multiple ways to do it, but the drag and drop is simply just the most easy and with our job we can see a few different settings like its status on holding that we've set off the output and so forth but um yeah so what we're going to do is i'm going to right click this and say job properties so the first setting and then it will uh, open us this little nice dialog box now depending on your printer settings that we've set in the default settings this graphics might either be very big or very small then if that's the case you can always adjust it over here on the um, by the job size so you can set the width the height and so forth use percentage by default proportionals off but i like to put it on if you sure about the size to fit your canvas you can always just go fit media and it will fit it automatically the other one like i mentioned is let's say you have got your graphics selected you can always just grab these little arms and scale it double click this middle to rotate it which is uh, convenient, and it's rotated full circle. And then just click and drag anywhere here to move it around. Now, if it's warping it like this, in our case, that's when you wanna go to this proportional editing or proportional, select that, and it will keep your proportions relative to the image when you imported it. So I'm just gonna scale this up, make it a bit bigger, put it there nicely in the center. And that's the basic settings, just to get our graphics nice and uh, lay it out. Next up, what we can do is look at the channel. So I'm gonna go here on top to the channel output preview. We select that, we'll have a few different options. If you know CMYK, then um, yeah, you can see the channels here. But first of all, you wanna select this preview output channels. If I select that, now we can actually see the outputs of our channels. It does take a little bit of while to load and then um, we can start seeing it in our preview box. I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see. Now you can uh, preview multiple ones together if you do these checkboxes. Or you can do just one, whichever one is checkbox. So yeah, it's only the black. Then we can put all of them on or all of them off, which it doesn't preview. But now if you see at the bottom here, we've got the spot white and spot varnish. So that is the important thing under the channels, which you're going to be looking at later when making custom channels for our white and varnish so you can click that and then um, we can see this is currently our varnish layer i mean our white layer and this is our varnish so it shows you what's going to be varnished and what's going to be white now this is very important and very useful to have when previewing there's already a flaw here i don't know if you've mentioned it but we will cover it in the next video and show you how to fix it but yeah, otherwise, until then, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice there's a variety of softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.